What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Enshrouded. Hopefully, you're doing well and you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. As you can tell right now, we are currently in the camp we built last time. This little shack and a little workbench with the flame in the middle. But we also met this guy last time. We actually saved him from the pod that was over where the bandits was and all this kind of stuff. Um, but today, I kind of want to work on the house and I kind of want to, you know, sign some things around, see what we can do and see what the game is capable of doing, especially when it comes to building, because obviously everything is voxel based. So when we blend two objects together, it will it would work and the game would figure out what's the best way for this to look and will deliver that to us. So what I want to do uh, first, I want to see what uh, mission this guy's got. So did you forget about your weaponry? I'm waiting. You need to be able to fight back. It's frightening world out there, kid. Okay, so so we can craft. This is what we saw last time, right? We can make a forge now, a charcoal kiln, nails, felon axes. So I feel like we either we extend onto our current house and get this guy inside a little blacksmith or we build him a blacksmith today. Uh, and then throw him into there with the forge, the charcoal kiln, and all that kind of good stuff. So at least we have maybe a little segment of the village I'm kind of wanting uh, to be created. So remember, if you enjoy this content, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And the quicker I see them likes, obviously, the quicker I know you guys want more of this content. So let me know uh, and all that good stuff. So let's... Maybe start by grabbing a lot of scraps we need here. We need a lot more stone. We need charcoal, which we've not found as well. So I, we're going to have to go and find all of that. Um, and I'm going to need a charcoal kiln. Uh, actually, charcoal. So actually, we need a charcoal kiln. Make that with stone. Burn some wood, which will make charcoal, which makes sense. So let's grab as much wood as we can. But what I want to do as well, at f well first is I want to look at making a axe. Because I noticed last time I was using the um, the uh, this bad boy. Um, <laughs> and I, wait a minute. When I started this episode, was my weapons damaged? Did he repair my... I think he might... Maybe editing bits will put that in here. But I'm pretty sure my pickaxe and my sword was damaged in the red when we first started. I could be wrong, but there definitely wasn't 100. There's also something else I want to quickly science as well. Uh, so if we get our pickaxe, um, we can see that we're in our bounds here because one thing I've noticed is when I first started up and uh, the, the beehive is back there. And if we head over here, we can see that this has now grown back. So the items have actually replenished so that all that flint I grabbed last time has actually respawned. So I'm wondering, if I was to build a hole inside my uh, house here, is it going to stay? So we're going to do a bit of science. What we're going to do is we're just going to make a small little hole here like this. That's inside the area. Then I'm going to do one outside of the area. And then I'm going to quit the game, load it back up again. So I'm going to return back to the main menu. And then I'm going to click play, click on private again, YouTube, play again. And let's see which hole survives. Maybe neither, maybe one, or maybe both. But I doubt both. Okay, so if we go back over here. Oh, they both sedaved. Huh, maybe it's a 24 hour thing then. Or maybe I have to quit the game fully. Maybe I should science that. Okay, so I've just quickly done it, and it does seem like it is still here. So I'm just wondering why this isn't. Maybe it's because I've done this hole a little too close. Maybe. But then that one's filled in. Anyway, we'll save that for a rainy day. Or maybe even one of you guys know in the comment. I'm just wondering, can we fill this? We can... Uh, maybe we can get another tool to fill it later, because otherwise we're going to have a bit of a hole. But uh, I wanted to look into... Uh, creating a because i was using the hatchet right to uh chop the wood down last time i kind of realized it in the edit i was like what bits why are you why are you using a uh hatchet to ch cop ch uh, chop the wood down um so i want to look into um where is it oh it's in here isn't it uh axe uh so we need some more string so for string if i remember correctly we need to just grab a few um bushes here um oh god there's all the little rabbit things again but by now, it's been uh, 24 hours since I played this last. Um, 
and uh, hopefully you guys are playing this game um or you're still waiting on some more info about it and uh i am wanting this series to do extremely well uh, and I do have some projects in the works that I want to kind of build a village. I don't know if it's going to be in this exact area, but at least we can make a little starter village uh, and all that kind of good stuff as well. And then later down the line, we might find a new luscious place we might want to live and build a new uh, build a, a new place. But obviously, we can extend our uh, our altar here. Uh, did we just need a shroud core, which I don't have a clue where to get, uh, and that's is just going to come with time and exploring. So now that we've got some string, let's just um, get some plant fiber. Let's just craft. I, re I really don't like how I've got to press space every time I want to do this. Uh, I, w I wish there was a button down here that goes, I want to craft 10. I want to craft 20. You know, that sort of thing. Um, what we can choose instead of <laughs> doing that. Um, okay, but I now want to make an axe. We're going to craft that. Uh, I've got a pickaxe. We've also unlocked lock picks now. We've unlocked... Um, what else was it? We've already got bandages. We've got a shield now as well. A club and a bow. Equipable range weapon twigs and string. Uh, we've got a wand. Uh, a staff so we can go down the wizard route. But we can also make some rags. And I'm thinking we do that. So let's craft a top. Uh, we need some more torn cloth. And we need some more, uh, more boots. Um, mana regeneration. Like, so many... Like, it is literally a sandbox. Um, but let's... Um, where did the claws go? Um, character, we'll put a top on and we'll put you on. So now we, at least we've got our... <laughs> our pecs uh, kind of covered now. Uh, this is the glider. That's the hook. We've got another ring. We found this ring last time. Um, and we don't have any uh, points, do we, available uh, to spend. We're currently level two. Uh, and yeah, so let's let's speak to uh, him again. He's, he's, is he well rested? Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Okay. New lore general, well rested. Nice. We've got a little bit of XP. But I do kind of want to extend onto the house a little bit and maybe do a little 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 tweaks and all that kind of stuff. So we are gonna need a lot of stone. We are gonna need a um and a lot of wood as well. Because it's a it's a surviving game, right? Will that work on that? Will it work on this one? No, it just digs the hole. Okay. Do I even have a uh, a pick? I don't think I do, do I? Well, the pick is for the ground. I'm still getting used to the controls. Where's my um, crafting character? No, backpack, right? So here's an axe. So I want to bring this in here. We're going to swap it for the hatchet. We've got the pick, that, the sword. Uh, we can put the torch on in here. We've got the bombs. And we've got all this food as well, which I cooked last time. 13 water from that well. So we know where that is. Uh, but now when I chop some trees down... We shouldn't have to swing around like I was doing last time. Which was a whole pain in the butt. And I don't know why I realized it. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a spoon. Things happen. Okay, so after about a good 15, 20 minutes, I've gone around, chopped a few trees down. You can see there's a big clearance over there now. And I've got some more fiber, got some more wood. Uh, and I just want to see what we want to look into making here. Because, well, obviously, we're going to need... We've got some rough stone blocks, uh, rough wood blocks... We've also got flint, which we can build out of, and tar. Uh, I do want to go and uh, speak to this guy over here, because uh, I do kind of want to make a charcoal kiln. Uh, we're going to craft that, and we're just going to place that down at the side of the house uh, for now. Uh, so let's just go back into our inventory here. Uh, and uh, I should really empty the, the, some of this stuff right uh, into here instead. Put some mushrooms in there, some bee wax and... Your inventory fills up super duper quick and so is my storage chest. Is that some coal? What is that? Oh, that's tar. I don't remember where I got tar from. I don't remember where I got tar from. So I want to go ahead and put the kiln down. Uh, what is, can this rotate? What if I was to uh, remove the snapping? Uh, sorry, no, that's with the snapping. Yeah, rotate. So R, we can just rotate. Oh, it's there. Okay. Let's kind of put that down there. And we want to craft. 
So place items from your inventory here to make them available for uh, the factory. Here, you can track the production process. The factory will produce the selected recipe until no ingredients are left or the factory's inventory is full. Switch between the recipes you have unlocked for this factory here. Okay, so we can make charcoal, which is what we knew. Um, but for that, we're going to need wood and dirt. Okay, so um, wait a minute. I only got twigs from the trees. Did I not get wood from the trees? Oh, I'm just looking at the wrong bloody thing. Uh, and we got dirt as well. There we go. So now all my dirt and all my wood logs are going to go into there. And it's going to take 10 cued and it's going to take 54 minutes IRL time. Oh my God. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. These recordings could get a little long. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because it's going to take five minutes. How, and it's going to give me 15 coal. I suppose that that is an excessive amount though, right? But we can get a lot of logs around here. We can also get a lot of stuff around here. So we might as well stock up on what we can now. And maybe, maybe I put down a second one of these and just get a stockpile of charcoal so we don't have to keep doing this. Um, but I'm just wondering, can we not get these guys to do it? That would be kind of cool if we could. Because um, we can. there's a lot of room in here that we can just stockpile, like, everything out of and the only thing we've got right now is charcoal because that's the only thing we've found but maybe we'll get something else a new recipe unlocked when we get the charcoal um we'll see but let's just go inside here real quick i do want to kind of extend this house a little bit as well uh, and maybe look at extending our storage we do have 878 blocks so i'm going to pull them out so we can look at the uh, little extension here got some more stone there so i'm going to take that out as well oh, got some dirt there okay We'll put that dirt inside. That's uh, from when I was mining all that flint. That I, I seem to have got a lot of dirt. So let's do that. Because it's going to be 17 logs for every three dirt. So that dirt's going to last a while. But more logs could be useful. And to keep in mind, that is all the logs I've just literally just chopped down. Um, so let's just, while we're in here, just press R to deposit all. And that should uh, get rid of anything we didn't need. Uh, we do have some flint arrows. I don't need a bow yet. I think I should make uh, a second storage but that's going to need more wood right and is that make, uh, made on here yeah storage uh oh it needs uh, twigs and string uh, i think it would be nice uh, as a little feature uh for us to build from storage maybe It'd be a nice little thing to do but obviously other people have other opinions so let's make two of them uh make some more chests and then if we put five down can we uh put snapping on and we can get them to snap together we can even stack these on top of each other as well beautiful and then we can put another one down by hitting seven and just i do really like how uh how easy it is to place everything you know um we can't put that there i guess we'll just uh <laughs> we can literally clip it through the door i i've really uh made a kerfuffle out, out of this haven't i so you you keep the rocks on me uh don't need the bones uh wooden arrows as well fur patch uh we've got the hatchet on us we can store these. What is that again? Oh, it's the summoning staff. That's what we use to uh, to uh, use the uh, on the uh, NPCs that we have. Go into here, and when we're pressed, is it tab? Oh, wait a minute. Am I filling holes there? Hold on a minute. No, I might. Whoa. Where did you come from, buddy? Am I mining? It seems like I was mining with that. Let's get the hammer. Can I really mine with that? Because that could be uh, a cheeky way to... If I put a foundation there, boom, then remove it. Oh. <laughs> well, so let's just check this out. We've got 878 rough stone blocks. I'm going to put it here. I've now got 622. And I've got 878 back. Well, I think we just found an easier way of uh, mining. Um, a lot easier way. And it feels like I've just dug my own grave. So let's have a look at uh, building here. I know we've got 872, but we know that doesn't last long. Uh, where's my hammer? Uh, so we're going to need some foundations. Um... That's a ceiling, right? I'm pretty sure that's a ceiling. This is the... Yeah, this is the foundation. Let's kind of extend this out a little bit by putting down 
I'm just wondering where do I want to put him? I want to give him his own house, right? And this is just for me right here. I'm already out of stone blocks. Already out. So let's craft this mint. I hate this. I really hate this. I really... <laughs> I'm going to try and cut that out of the videos. Uh, just for your guys' sake. Because uh, <laughs> I feel like that needs to be sorted. I'm going to place that down there. I want to look into the voxel side of things as well. So let's just kind of science that right now. So let's put down a window here. And if we actually get a wall and cover half of that up... It actually changes the window into a small little, uh, like, castle wall. Good to know. So, let's also look into what else we can do here. So, here's a door. We can get, like, a, a beam to go across. We can just put that there. And it creates, like, some form of, like, arch where we could kind of... And different types of pillars, which is kind of cool. Stirs on us as well. And we've also got all these shapes we can play around with. We can actually just make boulders and just random rocks just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, and smooth stones. So we can do quite a few things here. You can get some cubes. Attach it to the building here. Uh, what else we got here? We've got tall windows. Which are a 2 by 2 Well, I said 2 by 2 but look, I think it's like a 2 by 5 possibly. Play around with just other stuff and get some lighting in here and all that. So, it's just a matter of playing around and seeing what can be done. Can I remove that? Oh, well, why can I not remove that? Do I need that? I can't seem to remove this, uh, this one cube piece up here. Oh, I think I need to be on the subcategory that it's on. So, what I'm going to look at doing is maybe stone on the bottom... Or maybe we do wood. So stone little foundation like this. And then maybe we look into uh, utilizing wood. Maybe on the like the outside here. Taking up another floor with a maybe a stone flooring. Uh, with a stone trim maybe. Or we use wood. Um, I don't know. We, we need the wood anyway. So let's just kind of look at maybe adding a uh, window here. We're going to put down a window in the middle. Um, but I want to... So that's just a standard pillar. We do have thinner walls, right? Yeah, here. So we're going to put that there. That there. Maybe with a another window in the middle here. So that kind of snaps the foundations. But if we use this one, this can be put in the middle. Like so. It is getting pretty dark right now, so maybe some torches inside. I like how we've got these little fireflies going around here. Let's fill that back up. And for now, we're just going to go with a straight flat ceiling. Like so. And it's extremely dark in here now. But we can put some windows in. And we've got an echo as well, which is kind of cool. I was walking around our own house. So let's grab our torch. And what we want to look into now is lighting. Just so we can put a little bit of lighting on the walls. Um, campfires, bores. Um, that's going to be in the construction side of thing, right? So maybe the crafting bench. But we can see that we're sheltered. We've got a comfort level of five. And let's go into here. And beds, chair, fireplaces, illumination. Candles. Uh, okay, so we just need wax. Which we have wax in the storage. Um, wax. That's just honey. Um, wax. We've only got a two. So let's see how bright this candle's going to be. Um, so illumination, string and wax. Let's craft that. Oh, let's craft a couple of them. Um, and then... I feel like I should put like some small wooden stairs there. Um... I think what will look good is if we bring out our hammer again, is we look at like putting like just like a little um a little block maybe. I'm trying to think what would work. Something like this. And then maybe two miss and then a placed one like that. So it's like a little kind of like a little cover kind of thing. I can put that down. Oh yeah, look, we can place it on top of there. And it creates that. But I feel like we need a pillar outside here, don't we, in this corner? Because it doesn't look like it's connected, the wall. Let's see. Has that eliminated my... Oh, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. Beautiful. 
and then we look at putting that there. So we've got kind of like a little pillar. But you can go into so much depth with this. Because, like, if we had some wood, uh, if I turn off snapping, we could bring this to here. And it's even give us little, like, little stirrups kind of thing, if that's what we call them, to give it some form of support. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put this down. Yeah, is that protruding a lot more than what the other one is? But it is kind of coming across like a little bit of a... Uh, of a castle kind of what i'm curious about so if i was to put this down here this is 32 right so a full sorry a full block there is 32 and if i raise that up to be a bit more it's only going to consume four so it doesn't consume double the amount when you place it which is good it only uses what it's going to use for a resource but what i want to do is a mixture a mix uh, a mixture of rock with wood uh, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, maybe we should look into getting some more wood and experiment with that. Right. So as you can see by all the things coming up on the left hand side, I have just crafted a lot, a lot of wood. I've just deforested like this whole area here and I've just run out of. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God. Okay. Right. I was just about to tell you that my axe has just been depleted, but I now it's repaired again. So. Let's just sign something right now. So I'm just going to chop a couple of trees down here. And then I'm going to enter my vicinity of my home. And oh my God, I've missed so many logs. Oh, look, because it was nighttime, I couldn't see them all falling. So I've left loads of logs around here. Right, but let's just chop. Oh, uh, hello. Chop this tree down. Like so. I'm right, and we can see that my axe has been depleted a little bit. Let's step inside our vicinity. Okay, it didn't recharge. Let's go in the vicinity of this guy. Okay, it doesn't recharge. Let's go to the crafting table. Items repaired. Why did I not see that message come up on the left-hand side before? God damn it. <laughs> Somebody in the comments would have mentioned it by now going, Bits, it come up all items repaired on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side. Just look over there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's me you, you, you're watching right now, okay? It's me. It, it, yeah, we just don't go there. <laughs> we don't go there, okay. Uh, but, like I said, we have now got a lot of wood. We can see we've got over 10,000 blocks and about 2,000, uh, what's it called? So, logs are so, so easy to grab uh, with many supplies. Um, so let's have a look into this at what we can do with wood on this. Maybe we do a stone base and a wooden top as a second floor. Kind of like the old medieval villages um, that we see. And then maybe we do something for this guy. Maybe put like a shack, like a little blacksmith at the side of the here as well. And uh, hopefully you guys like these sorts of build. I don't want to rush this game and yeah, level up like... And that, that's not me. I want to take my time with this. I want to let the series cook. Uh, and I kind of want to build it as we go. And I don't just want to rush to get higher levels, unlock everything, and then go creative mode because I've unlocked everything, right? Um, and what I mean by creative mode is not there's no creative mode in game. What it is is just going creative with all the items I've already unlocked. But what I want to do is I want to kind of build up, go out, explore, find new things, come back to the village, and then maybe upgrade with what we got with maybe new materials, new structures, and all this kind of stuff. And maybe even find new citizens like this and make them a little home as well inside this little town here that we're going to build. And maybe, like I said before, we might move elsewhere soon uh, to, you know, uh, build somewhere else. Maybe on top of a cliff and all that kind of stuff. But if you're excited for that, remember to like the video uh, so I know that you guys are interested in that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, let's extend this house. I feel like I need to extend it back one more so we can start looking at getting in stirs into here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change over. We're going to get ourselves the hammer. Oh, I built... Oh, this builder is not that big, is it? So let's take this down to, uh, to here. I feel like this will be just fine anyway with the distance we've got. And then we're going to just aim at the wall, remove, 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 and remove. And get ourselves some new walls up here. So maybe uh, um, like this. What I kind of want to do is I want to make a skeleton uh, of a building and then start looking into like the small decorational pieces. So that's kind of my plan to go with right now. And even if we want to, we could just 
add these walls in here like this, right? And if I'm not mistaken, could we not just change over, go into this small cube, and maybe go to this wall and press delete? Oh my god, we can. So we can kind of make some different types of windows. We could take this up even further and make our own style of window. Okay, this game is getting interesting, to say the least. We can, can we even extend these windows? We can. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I could get carried away with what we're doing right now, um, but for the sake of the video, <laughs> we're going to definitely look around and make some really cool buildings. Um, I'm just wondering if we can move these without bringing everything out of them. Um, but let's kind of go with these windows here. Let's make them a little low, like a more elongated, like so. Kind of go with that. It is starting to look a little castle-y. I don't want it to look too castle-y. Um, oh my god, even the roof kind of has little uh, supports that connect to the wall pieces. I can see some shroud coming in there. Uh, I do want to do some supports in here, but right now we're not. I'm going to kind of leave the uh, open section open just so we can get some light in here. Uh, I don't think these candles do deplete, but the comfort is level 7, which is good to know. Because we have, uh, we have added that candle, uh, it's increased the comfort. Um, but let's have a look into the build mode again. And we want to look at some stirs. Uh, so let's grab some of you. Uh, we could make these wood, which I think I should do. Uh, so let's change these to wooden stairs. And then where do we want to add these? If I was to take this outside, is it going to put them on the outside as well or make them just on the inside? I guess we science. Okay, so it has brought some in here. But what if, what if I was to get these small pieces again, make a bigger one, and then just delete this? And then we've got a smaller stairs on the inside... And then these aren't technically needed. Unless I was just being a spoon and there was thinner stairs. But let's quickly go back inside. And we can see now we still have these stairs. They're not as wide, which they didn't need to be. And that's pretty cool. So we just need to kind of fill in this floor here. Uh, actually, they need to come back a little bit more, don't they? Because <laughs> I'm just going to kind of walk off the edge here. Oh, boy, my bad. So uh, can I go back into shapes? Go back in here. I can't delete... Wait, what's this? Oh my god, I can make my own. I should have just done that. That would have been uh, so much easier. But it is a step. It is a step. Wall. Oh my god. Yeah, I could have done them pieces. Okay, so let's remove. I need to remove this individually again because it's not a full piece in it. Whoops. We've got to be extremely careful of what I delete here. But I think trying to get the knack of this is uh, is gonna is it's gonna take some time, of course. Oh my god. Yeah. I can make loads of cool little things. So let's just fill this. Oh, missing. I'm missing stone. Can I not use the rock pieces? Oh, that uses dirt. It's because I'm trying to fill this. So you can see in the bottom where it's, there's a three. That's a terrain block. So I can use dirt to fill, which means if I go out here and go to these holes, I can actually fill this back in again. And we can see the dirt going down and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we can fill in the floor by just using these. And there's a little blue thing there stating that it is for a uh, block piece. So if I bring... Uh, this one back in here. Oh, if I use the right one, in fact. It's control, isn't it? That one. I can bring the rocks back in. I'm going to do the same here as well, just like that. And uh, fill this in, which I'm going to guess I can just get a large wall here and just place that down there. And that's only going to consume 12 and fill it all back up for me. Yeah, beautiful. Right, let's go back into stairs here. And what I want to do is we want to grab ourselves. I guess we'll go with a ceiling, right? Uh, I don't want it to go too far. So maybe maybe about there. And then we'll grab the stairs. Uh, but I'm only going to grab these ones this time. I'm going to switch it over to wood as well. So control and down. It is going to take some time for me to get used to the controls, just like every game. But if we go to there, we can just kind of choose our own size. And then I guess I can just go over here, get myself a block, and put a wood block there to give myself a bottom step. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to fill this in down here, like so. Now we've got ourselves some stairs that actually doesn't go all the way along, because I didn't realize. So right now, let's just create a wood... Oh, let's just create a wooden frame. Oh, hello. Where did I put that? Put that the wrong way. Right, so now let's just create a wooden frame going around the uh, the building. 
uh, like so. I find it super easy to make sure you've got snapping on when doing this. It saves any problems like I just had a minute ago with things just kind of being misaligned. Um, right, so now that we've got that, we want to look at maybe... Let's have a look at what it looks like outside. I feel like what I want to do is I want the wood maybe to come out by one more layer. Um, so if we get the uh, wood here, maybe I use wood as the supports. Let's try that. Let's remove these pillars and let's use wooden supports. We'll see how this looks. So we can already see that one side's a little bit higher and I feel like I want to uh, change this here as well. Uh, maybe I do... Uh, may maybe the stone was the right idea for the support, maybe. We will see. But I'm going to put you across there. And you across there. Right, so as you can tell, I've been a little busy just kind of experimenting with stuff. Um, but obviously, I didn't want to complete the whole thing and then come back to it. But I kind of wanted to give you my thoughts on it so far. Like, right now, we've, I've kind of, kind of like gone with the wood upstairs and the stone downstairs kind of made these like little uh under window placement things because maybe later down the line we can put some stuff in there and uh all that kind of good stuff maybe grow stuff uh, i don't know uh, but it's it's there ready for it and it kind of gives the uh, the building some kind of aesthetic as well uh, and i've got the uh, the wood upstairs and it's kind of working pretty well but if we go inside and we head upstairs what i've done as well is i've replaced the floor with wood which is what i'm going to do downstairs i think i'm going to replace all of this floor with uh, with wood and uh, i feel like these windows might be a little too low uh maybe i need to raise them by one so maybe we just go delete 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 or we could keep them at that height, maybe. But I think I've just got to go into the craft bench now, right? And create some um, some windows. Uh, here we go, windows. Uh, let's craft just a couple of them. Dishes. We don't need any dishes yet. I don't need any doors yet. So let's just grab a couple more windows. Uh, and windows are placed in my uh, inventory as well, right? In my um, backpack. Yeah. So we just need to grab these. We can just replace them out of there. And then kind of like place these in here. I don't know how they're going to look like when it goes to like larger windows like this. I feel like I've just got to play around with it. Maybe they'll blend. To be honest, that kind of works. And put them in there. But what about these ones here? What do I want to do here? Because obviously these are a different style, right? Maybe I'll go take it down maybe one more if it will let me. So if I do that and then I do that. That's what it's going to look like, and it, nah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments what we can, what we should, uh, kind of windows we should do here, um, because this could be um, a pickle for sure. Because I want to try and come here now to pick all of these up. Oh my god, grab! So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack on with this floor in here. And I'm going to start digging this up. I'm going to replace it with a floor, but it is going nighttime now as well. And I have removed the... God darn it. I wonder if, the t if, I wonder if it's still going to be there. Even um, even if I removed it. So if I just... I don't think I can. It's still... It's there. Do I have to... I think I might have to pick it up first. As it... Yeah, and now let's... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it was because it clipped through. Oh, that's wood. Let's change it back to rock. Put you up there. And eliminate that one as well. Come out of this and put you back down again. All right. We definitely need to get some more lights going down in here, whilst, especially whilst I'm working. Okay, that's a little better. I put one in this corner over here, one there. And one a side of the door. It gives me a little bit of visibility at least. It would be nice just to get a few more maybe like wall torches would be nice. Uh, I still need to move these books over here. I'm probably going to put one in this corner as well and one in this corner. Uh, and maybe one at the bottom of the stairs or even halfway up the stairs could be in a, a good shout as well. Um, but I'm upstairs. Oh, never mind. We'll talk about upstairs when it goes to daytime because that is way too dark up there. Um, technically, I could just pull out my torch, right? But... I'm going to put a fence across here, up here. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to, like, separate this room here just for, um, I don't know. Just, cause I, I am going to put, like, the furniture in it. I don't need to, but I want to. And then we'll do some form of storage down here uh, and all that kind of good stuff as well. And then this will be, like, my place. And then we'll make one for... We need... We, I'm going to call him Gerald. Do you have a name? 
He doesn't have a name. We could just call him Forge. <laughs> Forge might suit him better. Uh, but I'm kind of liking the look of this new house. But I do need to go into here and we do need to make the wood pieces. Oh my god, we need tar. That's for tar. Okay, so stone and thatch. I'm thinking we go for a stone roof. Uh, which does require flint stone. I keep, every time I say flint stone, I, st I think of Barney Rubble and all that kind of stuff. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with flint and stone uh, to get a tiled roof. But I do need to grab some of that. Which Wait, haven't we got a lot of um, flint in here? I'm pretty sure we do because we got loads of it last time. Uh, flint, there we go, 44. We might need to get some more, but I definitely need to grab more rock. So let's grab my pickaxe. I could just mine and maybe even make a basement or something um, within this. But let's mine some rocks away and uh, let's grab as much sean as I can. Right, so I've just made some uh, roof blocks. Uh, I didn't grab any more flint stone. Hopefully we need, uh, I've got enough. Uh, but I've just created some roof, uh, roof, roof blocks. Uh, so now if we go into my hammer, we should be able to see I now on the right hand side. Yes, we've got 800 um, to kind of play with. So this is going to be kind of... I, may, I might have to go up on the second floor here to do this. Um, but I can definitely see why there is some scaffolding to play around with. Um, I think that's centered there. I'm just going to go with that, rotate, and place that along here. I might even go with like a Viking-style roof if we... Uh... Is, that, is that lined up there? Let's turn snapping on. And let's see, uh, okay, maybe that one's wrong. So if that's wrong there, we do that one, rotate. Yeah, it's so much easier with snapping, uh, as expected. I can take that now all the way across here, like so. And I'm just wondering if we, um, we want to switch to this roof now. And then we'll take the, that roof that way. And then, do I do a corner here by using that block? And then, one, two, three. Maybe let the roof hang over at the end. And then fill that in. Come on. There we go. Now, we've got these little triangle pieces here. But let's have a quick look of what that looks like outside. And just see how it works i feel like definitely we need to take the uh these little bits down by a little bit and maybe we put the r hanging over aren't they the r okay so it, it it's surprising how simple the building is the only thing you've got to get used to is the whole pressing alt to go into you know change your hot bar and then go into your hammer press tab and then you've got to control with your materials to change your materials Holding Alt to jump up and down these, and you know, so the the the, the combination of menu or the UI to get uh, stuff is uh, a little different, uh, but it'll take time. Um, I'm too far away from that. Is that that's not the top? Is it? I think I'm getting the top bit there. Eh. Okay. Eh. Right. So I've just. Um, I've just removed this pillar from here, and I think that looks so much better. We'll still keep, like, the wooden trim to go around, but removing that pillar right there has eliminated the problem that it looks like with the uh, the, the wall, but it, it is starting to go daytime now as well. Uh, I kind of need to... I think there's uh, another spot I need to fill there, isn't there? There we go. So that's now working pretty well, and it's... You know what? It's coming along. I'm pretty happy with this right now. Um, the only thing it's missing is just the details of like lights and all that kind of stuff and yeah it's kind of coming along i'm i'm really enjoying it right so i've come across a little bit of a problem with my current build uh, and as you can tell i'm currently ripping up the floor within the house um i did it, i did try to remove the foundations and in doing so i actually removed the uh outer wall out here um, so what I'm going to do instead, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm just kind of removing it like this, and then I'm going to replace this hole in the middle with uh, wooden flooring. But what it's also going to do as well, it's also going to leave a stone trim around the edge of the uh, the flooring, which I think might, you know, look pretty decent. 
Uh, I want to do this around the stairs as well. And, it, um, and yeah, that's kind of what's happening right now. So I'll just thought I'll quickly let you know uh, before I quickly skip to this being completed. Right, so after more scavenging and more resource collecting, and you must be wondering why I need resource collecting. I actually need more wood. But as you can tell now, I've added these little uh, the, the the fillers there. But you notice the uh, the woods actually of the wooden stirs. It's like it's it's the one piece which is um, uh, this piece right here. This is what I use to fill in that little gap, and the wood is kind of coming through. And I don't know why, but I kind of like it. Um, kind of like the wooden like pins coming out of it. It looks kind of cool. I do need to add some windows on this side. Uh, but what I've done is I've, I've had to go and get some wood and stuff. Because what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at adding, like, the fireplace for the inside. Uh, maybe a table just so I can put some stuff on. Uh, maybe a couple of benches and two chairs. Um, you know what? Let's, let's add a couple of dishes. Why not? Um, and let's kind of go in here and look where we want to put this fireplace. That fireplace is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, where's the entrance to this? Oh, it's there. Um, so maybe I put that over here. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put the... Um... I wonder if I can put multiple of these together. I don't I don't think that will work, would it? Because the other place I thought I was putting it in, into the middle here. Well, yeah, maybe I'll put it over here. Okay, that works. My comfort has gone up. More. Oh, nice. I'm being rested, so I'm being boosted now. That fireplace is super small, though. But I guess we could just, I guess, make our own fireplace. That's why they did that. <laughs> okay. I see you, developers. And we can kind of make our own little... Our... Okay, now I've got a penis wall. Um, but still, it kind of works. I guess I just need to go upstairs now and uh, kind of need to take this all the way up here as well. Otherwise, it won't look right, will it? Um, bam, 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 bam. I've been thinking about the Flintstones too much. Bam, bam. Kind of take that all the way up there. I know there won't be like, any smoke comes out of it, but for the aesthetic purposes, I think it's going to look really nice. But it kind of does make sense for them to make a small fireplace now. Um, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And then just on the roof, I just need to extend it a little bit. Oh my god. Wait, is it... What's all this? Is this just outside glow coming in or fog or... Or is it from the fireplace? Is this the mist from outside? I think it is, isn't it? It is. But yeah, any anyhow. Got a fireplace now. Uh, I guess we can add a little bit of a table. Where, where do we want to put this over here? Maybe into, into like this little into this little room. Uh, let's turn snapping off and we'll place it freely, uh, like so. Uh, we'll put a bench around here and uh, a couple of chairs. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, like so. Where's my balls? Oh my god, I got nine of them. Here we go. Couple of balls. <laughs> I guess I'll put like a little... A little couple here stacked. Because... Yeah, that look... Never, never mind bits. Alright, let's just put this along here. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rest of my balls <laughs> on here. You know? It kind of looks like a kitchen surface, I guess. Um, and then maybe I can do something... What if I was to, um, would this look right if I was to go into build mode and then delete that piece and that piece? Not really, right? If you think about it, I'm just trying to make a bloody, some form of sink, but huh, we can't. All right, wait, can I get a diagonal piece? Can I get like a, a sloped piece? What about this? What did that do? Oh, that, that did slope it, right? Did it? Oh, yeah, it turned it into a roof. That's what that did. Okay, let's just fill that back in then. Maybe I'll find something else. Uh, trial and error and all that kind of stuff. And we'll just see what works. Um, but also, I've got this here. And I'm thinking about putting this across here to put more like storage across there. And I think I'm going to have to move that light. I'm going to put some more storage up here. If it will allow me. 
kind of kind of like that and put some more storage up there. I think I'm going to have to move that light from there. Maybe I put that onto the table. Maybe. If I can grab it. There we go. It's a little bit darker over here, over here now. But we've got light over there, light over here. And um, what is needed over here is just, um, just some light as well. But I don't have any wax. Uh, and I need to go on exploring for that. And I don't want to do exploring now because this episode is just all about just kind of building the house and just getting settled a little bit and just playing around with the controls and just seeing what we can do in the building because last time we did a bit of building but i think that could actually wrap up for this uh episode to be honest so check out my other content right here and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this obviously the more likes that i see even if you don't want to put a comment i, I understand that you can uh, you want to see more of this so thanks so much for watching like i said check out my other content right here keep smiling and i'll see you in the next video